and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Rebellion. Rebellion. Huh? Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you actually a bowl? Rebellion. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just Let looking out. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so... You must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! will make you regret signing up.
Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. it is she's right thank you well it's their own fault really hello there perhaps you can help. hello were you calling me i was yes thought perhaps a fellow hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure following a treasure map to be precise slight respite from battling the odd troll i should think asked poppy if she'd be interested as well but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. My uncle knows Kagawa. And then... <laughs> where, were, where were you? Rebellion. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minister... Rebellion. Hmm. Rhinoceros skeleton. If only a new student would. 
to help me with my sad predicament. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you... If anything. Revenia. This stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Oh, where's the treasure? Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. I don't send many out. Made any progress with your treasure? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round we... Very good. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with... Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. 
You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Ravenia. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't a secret, is it? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Here. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Thank you. 
Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. A new student would help me with I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accomplish. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecket. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. to practice in the classroom before Incendio. you go. You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself.
Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come Lumos. and find me if you stumble on something in That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Accio. Revelio. Do you happen to have any Valerian fruit? I really wanted to have a go into the atmosphere. Accio. Lumos. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should... Incendio, you'll get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Accio to... Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too, if I were her. Accio!
Revelio. Revenia. Rebellion. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Rebellion. 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 the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. I don't like it. Revelio. Lumos.
Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Oh, that would be incredible. If you're sure. I'll be tested too. You are... How nice to see you, my young friend. A Dedalian key. Wonder where it might lead me. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Got it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something you I should see this through and find the Hufflepuff house chest. This must be my... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it.
Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. There you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. Port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fake has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Jobanov.
Someone's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Briefs. Good gracious, what a mess! That wasn't so difficult after all. Now find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Avelia. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne. Revelia. So that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Arts. I'm impressed. Lumos. Repair it. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. Oh, blasted peeves! 
I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this arm. Revelio. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. That's it. There must be more to this room. need. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Yes. 
This must be the way forward. But to where? Keep my wits about me. Is a book after all. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. 
And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? 